Hello guys, Gregor Bearclaw back with another video. So, to be completely honest, after the fire boss and the illusion boss, I know none of what happens next, okay? That's literally all I remember from what I watched back in 2017. And good lord, that was ages ago. Seven years. Impressive. Probably closer to eight years, actually. Because of when it came out and what time I'm playing this, so, you know. Details, details. Alright, so. Uh, continue. Audio seems a bit low. Hopefully it's good for you guys. There's still a little bit of... Oh, good lord, stuttering. That's just my computer, I honestly say, think. Uh, okay, okay. So we're still going. We need to backtrack. Could we backtrack this direction? Because there's, there's no mini-map for me to see which direction I'm supposed to be going. And also, it's been a week since I played this, so, yeah. Uh, and also, the <coughs> excuse me, the whole reason I didn't play this last week is because I was kind of... younger, she'd learn the grass and stir up the plants. And then she saw them loosen, shifting faces. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I did not play Senua's Sacrifice or Rise of the Tomb Raider because I wanted to see what kind of views and how many views. I wonder, can you see the faces too? They're there, if you look for them. Wait, what? Mother. You have sight, just like I do. Once you can see into the underworld, the underworld this isn't creepy whatsoever. See you. Don't be afraid when I speak to you. I will always be here to guide you. Did you see her? That was her mother, Galina. She was a priestess, a healer. She taught Senua to see the weave that binds the world together. And it was beautiful. There was a time before the darkness. It's getting darker! But when it did come, it first came for her mother. Senua still sees her face from time to time, hidden in the rocks, like she's still watching over. She misses her so much. Oh, the stupid voices. It gives this game a whole new level of, um, is the word texture? I, I don't want to say, like, detail. 
depth. It gives this game a whole new level of depth. With the mark of Valraven and the mark of Surt, you may cross the bridge over the River of Knives to Helheim. We gonna have another fight. Open the gates. Open the gates. Don't, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. Don't open the gates. Don't, don't, don't. She's dead. Oh. It's Whoa. Dark. It's dark. It's dark. I never thought you'd cross. I thought you'd be crossing the river with me. Her face looks clean. It also looks like she had a proper night of sleep. Druga? Anyone? There is no one here but me. Not you. Did you think that I would let you go? That you lost me back in the wilds? I will never let you go. You can't get rid of me. I am your shadow. And I will be watching you endure your last dying gasp. I'm not ready to die. You will be when you see what they did to your dear beloved. they came through storm black seas they raided these shores do you still hear his screams and now that your home is so far away they've taken his soul gods you cannot pray they can break you but not your promise even death won't keep you apart through his darkness you will find him in your sword still beats our heart you fought for love unspoilt by your darkness within you fought for your dreams now there's no way to win in the head of his corpse lies the seat of his soul. So you must carry his vessel to bring him back home. Sword still beats a heart. The darkness touched you. Everyone could see it in the hollows of your eyes. A gaze averted. From light. He ran from it but brought it near. Led it to him. And then 
to a suffering worse than death. And you wanted to surrender, abandoned to fight peace with the gods. No. The darkness won't allow it. So you will walk into the lair of the beast. Look it in the eye, and you will go to war. This is your mission. This is your quest. There is nothing else left. What in the name of all that's holy did I just witness? <laughs> Good lord. Also, if none of you recognize what happened to the guy, um, if you didn't notice, he was up on a, uh, it was, it, it's, it's like, it's like a big V and the ropes were holding him right there. And if you notice on his side right here and then right here, there was stuff going out. So dark history fact, that's called blood Eagle. And it's basically where you cut down the spine. Also skip forward to where you don't see this menu anymore, by the way. So you just, with an axe or a knife, you cut right down the spine, peel the flesh back, you remove the back part of the rib cage, you take the lungs, and you put them up top, thus making it look like the person has wings, bloodied wings. And this, now do not quote me, but from sources... I heard that that was a way of Viking execution. And it was a way for a Viking to get to Valhalla. But if he made a single noise while that was happening to him, he would be doomed to go to Helheim and suffer for the rest of eternity. Do not know if that's true. I honestly have not checked the, that fact or not. So if you guys have checked it, please tell me in the comments down below. But yeah, very dark, very gruesome, extremely disgusting, honestly. And uh, more importantly, how could you suffer through your rib and your spine being removed? Honestly, I, I, I'm going to shut up now. If you guys skipped ahead, you guys are good now. But yeah, also the, also the part where the voices come back and she's... Is it Druth? No. Dillion. The gods made you a warrior for a reason. It's your calling. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. oh. Ho, 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 ho. thunderstorm that was bloody fantastic still a little bit glitchy for some weird reason i feel like it's because of the rain rain shadow and water my computer hates it and if you couldn't tell there's a lot of rain a lot of water and a whole lot of shadow i don't think this was a good idea for my computer Darkness brings another chance. 
Whoa. Is that? No, backwards, backwards. Whoa. Whoa. Um, this is weird. You wanna know what? How about this? How about this? There we go. I'll put everything down to minimum graphics. Because it's being way too stuttery for me. Matter of fact, yeah, let's just turn that off. Let's turn that off too. Turn everything down to as minimum as I can get it. Okay, so heavy attack still knocked me down. Oh, you bugger. I'm calling hogwash on this. No. Other way. If I could turn around, that would be helpful. Way decent power attack, you know. Take him down, I swear, if I die. Come on! Wait, do I have it? Yes, I do. Okay. Thor in a thunderstorm. That was fantastic. 
As long as you just ignore that massive guy. Okay, so. Apparently this game is too graphically advanced for my computer. I do believe it's also going to be the VS something, 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 something. And also we're going to leave all this stuff off. And we'll just turn up to huh, man. we'll turn it up to medium and see how it acts. I mean, it looks fine. So um Bo S X. Bo -S -X. The journey to Helheim is never a straight one. Ooh. Each must find their own path. Align yourself to its secrets, and you will find yours. Uh, I was not timing myself We're already 20 minutes in. All right. However you come to the gold-covered bridge that leads to hell, you may find it guarded by a giantess. She will ask your name. She will ask your lineage. She will ask your business. The Northmen tell of the warrior woman Brynhild who leapt into fire and rode to hell to join her slain love Sigurd and is challenged by the giantess also this is water not soda relax I mean, it still looks absolutely gorgeous with the graphics basically on minimum. Uh, wait, why is it blue all of a sudden? There's something right up there. Why? Why was it focusing on? I see it. Don't know why we're able to go over here, honestly. Because there's not much in the way of puzzles. But I do believe it's these guys up here. Yeah, see the X. Oh, now we're on the S. I need a higher vantage point. Come on. Doesn't match up. Doesn't match up exactly, but it's a gonna work. Why the heck can we go over here? Is this new? Oh, also, the d evil voice. I love it. I mean, I got a creepy story to tell you guys, but I'll wait till another time, and it'll probably be on my main channel. Why can we go over here? Like, I can't walk off. So, just, just randomly able to go over here. Interesting. Don't know why. Walk 
backwards at a really weird angle. Come on. That is just being difficult. Still don't know why we needed that. But I know why we need this. I mean, from a higher vantage point, that's an X, so. Okay, I am noticing a little bit of stuttering now, so let's go over to Shadows. We will shadows all the way down. Now, is there water anywhere in here? I know Horizon Zero Dawn has that water texture. Ooh. Hela possesses large dwelling places in Helheim. Tall are her walls. High are her gates. The name of her dish is hunger. Her knife is famine. On her threshold, all will stumble. Her bed is called sick bed, and her bed hangings are called flames of a funeral pyre. They say she is easy to recognize, half black and half the color of flesh. And her face, menacing and grim. I see what I did wrong. <laughs> I said higher vantage point? No, we need a lower vantage point. Come on. Alright. Kinda wish we could sprint faster. But... That's gonna be a big old nope. Matter of fact, I want to go check something real quickly. Wanna, I need I need I actually need to go see if this is properly recording. Okay, well, I checked. It looks fine. So uh, I guess we're gonna continue playing. I guess we could do another 30 or so minutes. But also this is more or less a walking simulator up until battles or we get another psychotic break moment. Whoa. Okay. Nah, nah. Whoa. What are you doing? You're showing weakness. You're not a warrior. You're a disgrace. The gods will punish you for this. Pick up the sword. Pick it up. Fight the darkness. Fight it. Get up. Get up. Get up and fight!
this is a disturbing game. Stormy seas and lost souls. <laughs> She's dreamt of this before. They say dreams are visions of our memories, thoughts and fears. They're seen by our inner eye. But what if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake, and we only see what our inner eye creates for us? Is this what hell is? A world shaped by Senua's nightmares? Maybe that's why people fear seeing the world through our eyes. Because if you believe that Senua's reality Yours might be too. You fail the gods, witch. You're pathetic. Rotten. Cursed. What were you thinking? Did you really think you could win? How stupid can you be? Everyone hates her. See the car. At you, a warrior, worthless, weak, pathetic. Go on, feel sorry for yourself because there's no one left to do that for you. I thought we'd already found what's left. Take it. If you're too much of a coward to fight, then end the suffering. Broken and lost, just do like your soul. What the heck was that? Why go on? When you give everything in the face of that which torments you. Only to find that it is worse than you could have imagined. Why go on? Is it really so weak to ask this? Or are we just so afraid of the honest answer? That we do not dare to pose the question. Sometimes the answer lies in a memory, a feeling, a song. Hear like a banjo or something. Come to me. Maybe a tug of a hard breath. Please, please. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta tell you something. It's in your dreams. It can't be him. It's just a dream. It's in your mind. It's in your dreams. It's in your mind. It's in your dreams. It's like you got it to watch me. I need to watch a video analyzing this game because there's something wrong with it. <laughs> but I do believe his arm, her arm got darker. And we don't have a sword. It's going to be interesting. Um, why is it it's pulling me one direction? I don't want to go that direction. Or may, it may just be the camera positioning completely. Saber, perhaps? The 
before she first met him, she was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Her father, Zimbel, made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs, errands out in the Ogni Plains. That was her world. Like this one. Barren and lonely. Wow. This game reminds me a lot of uh, how God of War, I think it's 2016 or 2018 looks and kind of seems to play and act that's that's what i would like to play is the new god of war one especially the newest one god of war ragnarok good lord i've seen some fight scenes and stuff from that whoa can't wait till the uh god of war 3 reboot or doom the dark ages I think that might say something about my uh, mental state if I can really violate the game. It's already disappeared. Nothing lives here, not even you. It's in your mind. You okay, before we go that way, I saw something back this way I want to go check out. Kind of looked like the door to Valhalla. Oh, a face. Disturbing and creepy. Selina, there will be times that you will feel alone and exhausted. Like a strange little fish swimming against the tides of the big ocean. But have the faith to let go and let the tide carry you away. Because the whole ocean is your home. It does not ask you to swim against it. Uh. Peculiar. Oh, it kind of looks like the skull. Dillion's there he back. was. The lone figure of a boy. Sword play under the shade George, of trees. George, for heaven's sakes. She remembered this the first time she saw him. Aperture on medium slash low. Her her young still looks glorious. He moved as if dancing. And the world danced with him. He's dead. I'm the gloom. First time in years she felt a ray of hope. <laughs> Stuff looks interesting over there, but <laughs> love it. Whatever the heck that music is. I don't think we're supposed to be going that direction quite yet. What's up here? Probably somewhere we also don't need to go yet.
The Northmen tell of a great hero. His name is Sigmund. His father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day, Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but the sword only comes out at Sigmund's touch. His brother-in-law, King Sigir, wants it, but Sigmund refuses him. So King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast. King Sigir captures Sigmund and his brothers, steals his coveted sword, and readies them for execution. Then all. Oh. That's what we're doing. Oh darn, I have suddenly got interested in this. Remember that tree off in the distance? That shadowy figure swinging a sword around? Something tells me that's not her husband. Something tells me it's Sigmund. If I'm pronouncing that properly. Or Sigurd. I need to pay attention more. What do you want? Back to what we were doing. Yes, I was just a couple seconds, but a couple seconds, they add up. Day after day, watching from afar, she mimicked him, perfecting her own secret dance. Wishing those fleeting moments of light would stretch out. Sigmund and his brothers seem certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister, and she begs for mercy and implores the king to chain them up instead. He agrees. Not for mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Chained to a tree in the forest that night, a she wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns, ravenous, night after night until only Sigmund is left. The next day, Sigmund's sister sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. But to what end? Well, that night, when the she-wolf appears again, you'll never guess what happens. Well, don't just hold out on me like that. I want to know what happens. Also, as you guys can clearly see, I've missed one, two, three, four, five. I've missed five of the, um, I'm just going to call them stones. I really wanted to know what happens. Got me hooked. She looks fine again. Go even fight. Huh. It's just deception. How does he so effortlessly court the world and bliss? If only she could do the same. Pretty things. In See the world skin. through her eyes anew. And dance with it. It's gonna go bad. Just like someday. he does.
just waiting for a horrifying monster to stab her in the back because she's smiling. That's bad. <laughs> What's your name? Senua. I haven't seen you before. I'm not. I don't leave home much. Oh. Dino's daughter. I have to. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. No one? Well, I I watched you, and you learned all of that from watching me. I did that. You should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Billy. I'm here for the warrior class. Come on. And bring your sword. You can't put it into words moment when you look into the eyes of the one who is supposed to reassure you make you feel safe it only takes an instant fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it and darkness becomes a part of who you are but her world changed the day the Norsemen took him from her Senua knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide and don't tell Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel him. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here! You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No! And all your suffering will have been for nothing! Shut up! Are you okay? Is that you? I'll find you. I promise. Also, it is so cool how the camera zooms in, zooms out, and stuff. Ah, oh, so cool. Also, the dark voice. If, ooh, yes, please tell me this is going to be the conclusion to the guy's story. I want to know. Wait, what? Oh, man. Nothing there. Got my hopes up for nothing. Well, that one right there. I see a round circle, please. Bad news. There's three of them. Oh, there we go. As the she-wolf licks the sweet honey from Sigmund's face, he bites the wolf's tongue. The she-wolf pulls away, but Sigmund holds on. The chains break, and he is free. After his escape, Sigmund lives like us, hidden in the forest. His enemy, King Sigir, believing him dead, as his sister plots revenge. And for vengeance to succeed, even the great Sigmund needs help. So she sends her sons to him. But their blood is weak and corrupted, and they're put to death by Sigmund. So his sister hatches a new plan, one that is cold of heart and pure of blood. I'm confused. Did the brother kill his 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 nieces and nephews, or, or did the dad kill his sons and daughters? Tell us what happened to the she wolf. I feel like the she wolf is important to the story. Come on, let me see it. Let me see it. Yes. Sigmund's sister trades shapes with a sorceress, and in disguise, she lies with her own brother. 
She gives birth to a son named Sinfjatli. After a time, she sends him to the forest to Sigmund. He tests the boy and finds him strong and fearless. And so they go to take their vengeance on King Sigir. But luck is not on their side. They're captured, and Sigir has them buried alive. Oh, why does that not surprise me? I mean, I feel like it was fairly common back in that day and age for that kind of stuff to happen, but... Okay. Hey, damn it. Nothing. Okay, I think it was the sister sent her kids to the brother. The brother tested them, but they all ended up dying while being tested. And then she did that. Yeah, nothing's gonna go wrong. Nothing's gonna end badly. Perfectly fine, perfectly natural. I'm getting a soul saver. forged by the god of all Northmen, Odin, and gifted to Sigmund, a great warrior. I need your sword. It's important. Can you help me? The sword appears whole, but it is an illusion. It shattered into shards long ago. It is said a great warrior can reforge Gram by answering the trials of Odin, one for each shard. The roots of the tree of death take you to new lands where you will face the trial. Go to the shard. Go to the shard. Go to the shard. What's the shard? Find it. The metal room is nervous. Okay, so. Find it. The metal. The runes. This you is gonna to take a while. Go to the shard. Go to the shard. And since it's going to take a while, we're gonna call it a day. But I will get ready for... Find it. All right, so um, how do we say? Wait, can we save? Focus, focus. Yeah, I'm gonna need to focus. initiate Get this, don't I? Go to it. It's not safe. Don't go near it. Okay, there we go. We got an auto save. The Northmen say that their old father, Odin, gave his eye in exchange for a drink from Mimir's well, the well of wisdom. Blindness, there can be wisdom. Only by giving can you receive in return. For this reason, I give my life and pass on my stories of the Northmen to you, Senua. Here. Can't you see me? Help. Help me. Breathe slow. It's the darkness. Stay still. Empty your thoughts. Wasn't much there to begin with. Tell me what you feel. Alright. Well, we got our autosave, so we're going to call it. Exit. 
Thank you guys for watching. God is awesome. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I shall see you all whenever I see you. Goodbye.